Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to level up over 100 times per day in GTA 5 Online. Now, yes, you can level up over 100 times per day in GTA 5 Online doing this RP method that I'm going to be showing you guys in today's video. Now, you guys could be leveling up way more than 100 times per day or also a little bit less. It really all depends on how much time you're willing to put into this RP method. Before getting into today's video, if you guys could do me a favor and drop a like, that would mean the world to me because it helps the video get pushed more out there to people who don't know about my YouTube channel yet. And for you guys who did drop a like, thank you guys so much. Let's go ahead and continue on with today's video now. So getting into today's video, if you guys do not know, this week in GTA 5 Online, it's probably one of the best weeks we've had to earn money and RP. If you guys haven't watched my video yesterday, I actually showed how to earn over $10 million per day doing this really OP money method. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the OPRP method to be doing this week and I'm pretty sure you guys already know this is gonna be a really good method because the title literally says you can level up over 100 times per day and that is not cap I'm gonna be showing you guys what level I was at the beginning which was like 700 something and at the end of the video I ended up being over level 800 which was literally insane especially for the high rank that I already am so that being said if you guys do not know this week in GTA 5 online we actually have triple money and triple RP for all stunt races now I know not everybody here has probably done these stunt races but I'm telling you guys right now that you guys should be doing these as much as you guys can because first off you earn lots of RP while doing these and it's also going to be going away this Thursday that's why I'm putting this video out on Monday because I want you guys to do this as much as possible so yeah this video is going to be mainly containing a guide on how to do these stunt races how to win first place almost all the time that way you guys get the most RP out of them and I'm also going to be giving you guys lots of tips so let's go ahead and hop into those tips now Alright, first things first, you're going to want to start a stunt race, so you're going to want to press the pause menu, come over here to online, jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, come down to where it says stunt races, and then scroll down until you guys see all these races that say stunt. You guys can see all of them are actually going to be triple money and triple RP like I said. Now you guys can start up whichever one you guys want to, it's completely up to you. There are motorcycle ones, muscle car ones, sport car ones, and also super ones. The first one that I'm going to be doing in today's video is going to be a supercar one and it's called Downtown Loop. As far as settings go, I like to put non-contact on, put the number of laps set to 7 if you guys can choose the number of laps, and then you're going to want to put destroy last place every 60 seconds. Now let me explain because lots of people don't like this setting. Basically what this does is make the race no longer than 15 minutes, which is probably the best thing to do because you don't want to be in here for that long. You're trying to get in here, get your RP, and then get out as fast as possible. That's why I recommend and putting every 60 seconds it destroys last place but yeah once you guys have those settings now you're just gonna want to try to get as many people in this race as possible the more people you guys have in the race the more money you guys will get so i recommend having anywhere above 10 people in your session if you guys don't have anybody to do these races with you guys can go ahead and join my discord i'll go ahead and leave a link to my discord server down below in the description it's free to join and you guys can easily find players to do these races with so now that you guys are ready to start your race you guys should now know what cars to use so for sports car races i recommend using the Itali gto or or also this car right here which is the pariah now in my opinion i like the italian gto better but the pariah is also another good option for you guys to use for supercar races i recommend using the divesti 8 which is this car right here or also the krieger the krieger is the one that i almost always use in every single one of my supercar races and there are also multiple vehicle classes you guys can do other than what i just named but the sports and also supercar races are the best ones to do trust me you don't want to do the muscle car races and you do not want to do the off-road races those are just literally a pain and it takes more time for you guys to do i recommend just doing the sports races and also the supercar races and i know these vehicles can be quite expensive if you guys don't own them already but you guys can also just do these with stock versions as well you don't have to have a custom vehicle but obviously we all know that having a custom vehicle especially the ones that i recommended are really going to help you come in first place during these races keep in mind in all these races i'm either going to be using an Atali gto or also the krieger i never really use the pariah and i never really use the divest d8 but those are also other options for you guys those are just other cars that i've been beaten by that's why i'm recommending them to you so first i'm going to show you guys how much money in rp you guys get for these races Races, and then I'm going to show you guys how to actually come in first place almost 100% of the time and I'm also going to be showing you guys lots of cool tips and also secret tricks that you might not have known that you guys can do in these stunt races. So first let me show you guys how much I got for this race that I was doing in the background footage and then we'll go ahead and get into those tips and tricks and then I will show you guys more money that I got off of these stunt races because this is literally nothing compared to what I got later on in the video. 
So here goes how much money I got for the background footage race that I did. You guys can see I just got $73,000 and I also got 19,000 RP, which is literally insane. Keep in mind, I'm level like 783 at the beginning of this video. So if you guys are lower than like, I don't know, 300, you guys are going to be getting way more RP than how it looks like on my screen. But you guys can see I was in this race for only 12 minutes and I got 19,000 RP, $73,000, which is literally insane. But like I said, that's nothing nothing compared to how much I got later on in the video with other races. So now I'm going to be giving you guys a couple tips to do while doing these stunt races. That way you have a little bit of an advantage against other players. But you guys already know when you start your race, it's going to say 3, 2, 1, go. As soon as it says go is when you're going to want to click RT on your controller or your gas on your controller. That's going to give you guys a boost at the very start to go in front of everybody who didn't do that. Now that's a tip you guys should be using every single time you guys start a race because it gives you guys a really good boost at the very start of a race. So getting into the second tip on today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool speed glitch to do in these races. Now this only works for straight runways like I am in right now. Basically what you're going to want to do is what you're seeing on my screen right now. You're going to want to go up and down along this curb right here which is like the red and white curb. You guys can see I'm doing it and also the person in front of me is doing it. Now what this does or what it's actually called is called curve boosting. I don't know if you've ever heard about this but only like the really experienced uh, racers, especially the stunt racers know about this trick. It really helps you out and it helps you get like a boost, not really too crazy of a speed glitch, but it does make you go faster than the normal people who are just going straight down the road. You can see I'm basically doing this as much as I possibly can. You're going to want to do it any single chance you guys get on a straight runway during these stun races. Now I know every single map doesn't have straight, you know, paths where you guys actually have those red and white lines to do the curb boost glitch, but when you guys can, like I said, you're going to want to do it as much as possible. Now those are the only two tips that you guys can use while doing these stun races. Basically the rest of the skills are up to you. You just have to try to not crash as much as possible and try to maintain your speed the entire time. Try not to stop as much basically. So yeah, I showed you guys which cars were the best to use for these stunt races. I also showed you guys the settings to use for these stunt races. I also just showed you guys two tips to use while doing these races. Now let's go ahead and get into the biggest part of this video, which is going to be the RP and money that you guys get per stunt race. And keep in mind, this is literally every single stunt race. As long as you guys put the settings that I told you guys, this is going to be every single time you do the stunt race. And they take like anywhere from 10 to 13 minutes each. Now you're going to want to try to do the races that can go up to 7 laps as much as possible, but sometimes you guys will do these 1 lap races. The background footage that you were just looking at was actually a race that's only 1 lap. You can see here I'm coming up to the very finish line of this race. And here's how much money you guys get for these races that are only 1 lap, which is actually pretty decent compared to the time that we spent doing it. So you guys can see I was only in this race for a total time of 3 minutes 15 seconds, and I got paid... $34,000 and 21,000 RP guys that is insane for three minutes I got 21,000 RP that is like mind-blowing here's another one lap race that I did and I actually only spent three minutes 55 seconds in this race and I got 21,000 RP once again and $37,000 cash so these one lap races are really good for RP. It gives you around the same amount for the seven lap races, but the money is not quite the same. Let me go ahead and show you guys how much money I got for a seven lap race. You can see right here, I just finished first place and I got paid $92,000. And here's the RP, which isn't too much different from the one lap races. You can see it's 26,000 RP, which is pretty good. It's like 4,000 more than the one lap races and the money is more. But obviously this is a seven lap race. I was in this race for a total time of 14 minutes. So I spent a little bit more time in this race but i also got more money and a little bit more rp so if you guys are solely in this for the rp i recommend just doing the one lap races but you guys can also do the seven lap races as well it's completely up to you but this is the range that you guys are typically gonna get you're gonna get anywhere from 20 to 26 000 rp a race and you're also gonna be getting anywhere from forty thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollars per race like i said these races take anywhere from three minutes to 15 minutes on the high end but yeah, that's now going to be bringing us to the end of today's video. You guys can see I am finally level 800. I finally got to that level. I was like 700 something in this video at the beginning and now I'm level 800. I'm super happy and I hope you guys get happy as well with your results from doing this RP method. Make sure you guys grind this as much as possible because like I said guys, it's going to be going away this Thursday. But that's basically it for me in today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.